हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज रीजन बिहाइंड डाउनवर्ड स्लोप ऑफ द डिमांड कर्व पार्ट वन द डिमांड कर्व ओबेज द लॉ ऑफ डिमांड विच स्टेट्स दैट देर इज एन इनवर्स रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन प्राइस एंड क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड ऑफ अ गुड ओके सो बेसिकली डिमांड कर्व ओबेज द लॉ ऑफ डिमांड एंड लॉ ऑफ डिमांड स्टेट्स दैट देर इज एन inverse or a negative relationship between the price and quantity demanded of a good the reasons behind downward slope of the demand curve or why more of a good is purchased as its price falls are first one law of diminishing marginal utility second substitution effect third income effect and fourth new consumers creating demand in this part 1 we will discuss the first reason behind downward slope of the demand curve which is law of diminishing marginal utility first of all utility means satisfaction in simple terms utility means satisfaction utility the concept of utility is measured in utils we can understand this concept with the help of this table in column 1 we can see there is units of apple consumed and in the second column this is marginal utility marginal utility from apple in terms of utils now when the consumer consumes first unit of apple suppose he gets a satisfaction of 10 utils when the consumer consumes second unit of apple he consumes a satisfaction of 8 utils when the consumer consumes third unit of apple he gets a satisfaction of 6 utils so basically law of diminishing marginal utility states that as the consumer consumes more and more units of a good each each successive unit will give him lesser utility as you can see the marginal utility goes on diminishing as the consumer consumes more and more units of a good marginal utility goes on diminishing this is law of diminishing marginal utility we can also read this the law of diminishing marginal utility states that as a consumer consumes more and more units of a commodity marginal utility derived from each successive unit goes on diminishing it will decrease clear now when the consumer consumes first unit of apple he gets a satisfaction of 10 utils he is very happy so because he is getting a satisfaction of 10 utils he is ready to pay rupees 10 because he is getting a satisfaction of 10 utils so he is ready to pay rupees 10 for this first unit of apple okay fine when the consumer consumes second unit of apple he gets a satisfaction of 8 utils now the question is will he still be ready to pay rupees 10 obviously not because earlier he was getting a satisfaction of 10 utils and now he is getting a lesser satisfaction of 8 utils why he will uh, still pay rupees 10 so he will be ready to pay rupees 8 because he is getting a satisfaction of 8 utils when he consumes third unit of apple just to satisfy uh, when a consumer consumes third unit of apple he gets a satisfaction of 6 utils now again the question is will he still be ready to rupees will he still be ready to pay rupees 8 obviously not because he is getting a lesser satisfaction so he will pay rupees 6 because he is getting a satisfaction of 6 utils the main conclusion is as the units of a good increases willingness to pay decreases because 
the consumer is getting a lesser satisfaction for each successive unit and that is the reason his willingness to pay will decrease consumer is willing to pay a lesser price for more units of a good when we are saying this statement that consumer is willing to pay a lesser price for more units of a good it clearly states inverse relationship inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded inverse relationship between the price and quantity demanded and thus we can say that this implies that demand curve is downward sloping so i hope that this concept is clear to you that how law of diminishing marginal utility is a reason behind downward slope of the demand curve behind the inverse relationship between the price and quantity demanded clear thank you